This morning in the Eagle Studio, Kurt Martin's with us. Kurt, good morning. Good morning. And Kurt, we're excited to have you here talking about Deadlifts for Dreams. I guess this is Deadlifts for Dreams 5. Yes, this is our fifth season. Uh, we started 2019. Uh, basically, I started just by Googling a charity in Winnipeg or in Manitoba, and it popped up. So it was something I gravitated to due to uh, my gym history and strongman history. It just felt right. And so what is it about the uh, you know the, the strongman community and doing events like this where they like to support a good cause? I think they go hand in hand more than people think. Uh, really big hearts for these people, great. Uh, I think it's really, although it's competitive, they're very community orientated. So they all support each other. So it just made sense to put together event. Dave Beakley uh, put this together in 2019 and it just has grown ever since. And so you guys are supporting the Dream Factory, which is a pretty interesting uh, you know, charity as you're supporting these Manitoban kids. Talk about the Dream Factory. So the Dream Factory, this is their 40th year and uh, we've been with, like I said, Deadlifts of Dreams for five years and basically we've raised over $100,000 in the last four and almost 40000 this year in itself. So they say the average dream cost about $15,000, but we all know travel expenses have gone up. Um, so any funds we do raise that go over our target, they all go to the next child. So there, I think last year they hit a target of 20, 44 children they did, and they averaged 30 per year where they get to help out. So that's so awesome. It is awesome. And this year uh, you're supporting a, a very special guy from, uh, from Winnipeg, Spencer. Talk to us about Spencer. So Spencer's three and he's been battling cancer. Just recently he had his last chemo treatment, which I heard through our group and which is really awesome. So this is more, I won't say more, but it's, it's a celebration of his final treatment together with raising money for his dream of going to Disneyland. And so Spencer's kind of like any other three-year-old I know. He loves Paw Patrol and he wants to go to Disney and we, we, we want to send him there. Yeah, I bet you the whole crew would love to go with him, but uh, it, it'll be a great time for him. And so, Kurt, are you participating? Are you, are you lifting in deadlifts for dreams? I will participate again <laughs> this year. It is getting, I'm, I turned 50 this year, so it is, it, it's getting to be a little bit more of a challenge, but I, and I haven't been training for it specifically, so, but no, I'll participate. And so how many, uh, how many athletes are we going are we gonna to see out there on Saturday? Uh, I believe there's over 40, uh, male, female, all ages. We have teenagers right up to over 50 and, uh, it, it should be a good time and, Whoever wants to come out and support us, uh, we we appreciate all the cheering on and uh, the extra opportunity for fundraising. Obviously, the cheering on is an important part, and somebody might expect, you know, just deadlifts there by the name, but it seems like you guys have a lot more going on there. Yeah, there's bouncy castles for the kids, so we wanted to make it very much a kid-friendly, family-friendly area, so you do have your bouncy castles. There's going to be, I guess, people can, uh, we've been discussing pitching in money or doing donations and getting the opportunity to dunk someone in the dunk tank. <laughs> uh, so that will always be a good time. And then there'll be a barbecue and it's, it's from 10 till, till two. So there's a good opportunity to take, take part in a lot of different things. Right on. And Kurt, if people want to learn more about deadlifts for dreams and what you guys are doing, where can they go? Uh, they can log into the dreamfactory.ca. Um, the, you can Google Deadlifts for Dreams 5 specifically, and it will bring you to our homepage there. So you'll be able to uh, get a good idea of what we're doing on Saturday. Right on. We're excited for Saturday. Kurt, thank you so much for coming in and telling us all about it. Thanks for having me. Hey, I'm Ronnie Gunther. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have something going on in the community and you want to share it on the morning show, we'd love to have you. Send us an email at news at PeminaValleyOnline.com. If you like the video, give it a like and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time.